Have you ever been catfished by a knife? How's it going, everybody? I'm Roll Shambeau, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. Let me know in the comment section down below. When was the last time that you saw a picture of a knife online and you thought it was something and it turns out that it was a little bit less than what you thought? Turns out maybe size matters. While you're down there, high five the like button. Let it know that it's doing a pretty decent job. And if you watch this review and you find it enjoyable, make sure to hit the subscribe button, my friends, because there's definitely more content coming. But today, we're going to talk about a knife that I was really, really excited to get my hands on. This is the Gavco Nurse, designed by Gavco. And this specific one is a Caviso exclusive. In fact, this knife was provided by Caviso for review. It's a loaner unit. I did not buy this. They did not give it to me. And I do not get to keep it. It's going back to them. But before we send it back, we got to talk about it. Because there's some good, there's some uh, and there's some hmm. Let's talk about it. So first and foremost, if you're wondering why this looks so bright, it's because dark knives are hard to film, okay? They just are. And I'm doing my best to show all the details because this is definitely a pretty knife. Now you may have seen this before. This is the Gavco Nurse. And uh, this is gonna be the second Gavco knife that I've reviewed on this channel. This is from Caviso. Shout out to them for lending this to me so that I could check it out and give my two cents on it. First and foremost, uh, it's called the Nurse, and you might see those gills there because it's referring to a Nurse Shark. Sharks are fast and sleek and smooth, and they've got the right angles, uh, some of which are a little awkward, but they work really well. Just ask the other marine wildlife. And this doesn't disappoint in that aspect. I think that the curves on this knife are beautiful. When I saw pictures of this online, however, I did feel a little catfished because I thought it was bigger. I thought it was bigger. The ladies will know what I mean, okay? Um, so surprised was I when I got it in hand and found that it is, it's barely a, a four finger grip on here. And like the other Gavco knife that I've reviewed, which is the Thresher, I'll go ahead and link that up there. Um, there is no jimping on the spine of the blade, which is a damn shame. No, this cutout is not, in fact, a finger cutout. And I actually wouldn't even suggest trigger pulling it because that's a kind of a precarious position. My, the tip of my finger barely fits. And you guys, you know, if you can't fit the tip, it's over. Um, <laughs> you'll notice that it has the drop logo, the mass drop logo. And that's because I believe that this was a drop exclusive that was inherited by Caviso when Drop stopped doing their knife slash outdoors type stuff. I'm not 100% sure if Caviso and Drop are actually the same company or if they're owned by the same people or if Caviso just stepped in and said, hey, if you're not going to do this anymore, we'll buy up some of your inventory. I'm not sure. Um, if you know, let me know in the comment section down below. Either way, the only place I've been able to find this specific knife for sale is at Caviso. So regardless of my opinion, if you like this, and you want to get one for yourself, uh, go to Caviso. I'll link it down below. A couple things about this knife. Flipper tab, deployment hole. That's like my favorite combination, right? Uh, it is an open back design. That helps with the weight reduction. We'll go over that in a minute. It has titanium handle skills, titanium pocket clip, single-sided captive pivot, running on bearings, S35VN for the blade, not a whole lot of billboarding on here, aside from the Gavco logo right there, which I'm not mad at. I, I actually don't mind designer logos on the blade. Like you spent your time designing it, you put your hard, hard earned time into it. Yeah, show your stuff. Just make the design cool. I don't have an issue with, the, uh, with that minimal billboarding. The other side is completely blank and neutral. And this clip is a milled clip, but it looks like a stamped clip, but it's not. It's a milled clip. Uh, <laughs> it works really well, guys. It's got just enough give to go in and out of the pocket. And instead of going into a plateau like a lot of stamped clips do, it's a ski jump. And so 
that's perfect for sliding into your jeans and you've got enough clearance here at the back uh, where even with thicker jeans it's going to fit now it's not a particularly big knife uh, for example here it is up against the spiderco manix 2. This is uh, this knife is kind of like Wii Mini Malice sized, which I also think is too small for me. Um, and here's the thing, guys. Typically, I can over I can be okay with a knife this length if it's got accommodations for my fingers. And in this case, it doesn't. This is a knife that's screaming for a flipper tab delete, and instead putting a finger cut out there. I feel like that ergonomically that would have made more sense. Put a finger cut out there and then I can choke up on it. Oh yeah, and while you're at it, put some jimping on the spine of the blade so that when I do a saber grip, I've got a good grip on it. But because I don't, it puts my hand back here, which for my hands, which are a large size glove, isn't the most comfortable. And that's a shame because the shape of the knife, the shape of the blade, the deployment options, the attention to detail with things like the the gills for the the nurse shark like that's cool uh the cutouts that help with the weight reduction that's cool the ergonomics bug me because i feel like this flipper tab is pushing my hand down and there's nothing for it to slide against so that's kind of that's kind of a bummer for me i do like the knife i like the materials i like the overall design i wish the handle scale was longer and I wish that they got rid of the flipper tab in favor of a finger cutout. Flipper tab delete, include a finger cutout, and it's perfect at this current size. Uh, without the flipper tab delete, I want the handle scales to be longer, even with the blade the way that it is. Now that we've got that out of the way, uh, you might wonder, what is this way? There's no backspacer. Uh, they didn't go bananas on the pocket clip. It's smaller than it looks online. How much does it weigh? So I feel like this weighs somewhere in the realm of low fours. I would say like 4.1. And I did not look at the spec sheet. Let's see how close I can get. 3.67. So I'm a little off. It is actually lighter than I think it is. That's okay. We've already determined that I've been catfished by this knife once before, and it's not as big or as heavy as I thought it was. Regardless, the action is smooth. The blade is centered. I love the snicking sound it makes when you, when you open it. That's fantastic. The flipper tab works really well. The deployment hole works really well. The speed holes do their thing and they reduce the weight. And something that I haven't mentioned yet, there is like one body screw per scale. Look at that, one body screw. You undo the pivot, you undo the body screw, and Bob's your uncle. That's cool. That's a very minimalist design. And I think if you're someone who carries EDC pouches and you're worried about the overall size of a knife, I think this would fit in an, in an EDC pouch pretty easily. So that's a consideration as well. Ergonomics, from what I found, is a very personal thing. So just because the ergos don't work for me doesn't mean that they won't work for you. Again, guys, I, I like the overall design. It's just the ergos for me that don't necessarily make sense. And that's why I feel catfished, because when I looked at this online, it looked bigger. But it's not too terribly priced either. You can pick these up for under 200 bucks with premium materials, premium design language, good action. The ergonomics that might be good for you, depending upon the size of your hands. Guys, if you have if you wear an extra large size glove, I'm telling you right now, this is not big enough. But if you wear a large to maybe a medium, like a medium large, I think that this could be perfect. But now I'm curious. Have you picked up one of these knives? Are you planning on picking up one of these knives? And if not, why not? If you liked the video, guys, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, boohoo, you know what to do. And if you want to see more knife content, there is definitely more coming. Make sure you hit subscribe and smash that notification bell. I'm Roll Shambo. I'll catch you on the flip side.